digital book bag by Leigh Folson. These are the titles that I feel have influenced me most throughout the years, whether it be my beliefs or my actions. These, all of these books have had a big impact on my life. Golf Magazine has inspired me in many ways. It has shown me how extremely talented golfers got to be where they are today and how they were at my age. I have also seen many beautiful pictures of golf courses through these magazines, and these are some of the things that still inspire me to play the sport today. And last but not least, it has given me ways I can improve, making me want to go out and try them on the course and keep playing the sport. This magazine has had a large influence on my nonfiction reading habits. Another very influential golf title that I read was a biography on Tiger Woods. I read this book when I was just beginning to pick up the sport, and it inspired me. Even though Tiger Woods is not considered the best person by many social standards, this did not faze me, because what I cared about was his dedication to the sport, and how hard he worked to get where he is today, and how focused he was, and it inspired me to improve my own skills. Harry Potter Harry Potter was one of the first big series of books that I read, and being a young person and easily, easily influenced, it made me feel lucky to be in the position I was with kind parents and a loving family. It also made me want to work harder because he worked hard from nothing and made a big difference in many people's lives. Another book I read that was in the same type of genre as Harry Potter was Percy Jackson by Rick Riordan. Percy was a person who worked hard for everything he had. Even though he had a famous father, one who was very successful, it was not the reason why he achieved greatness. He fought battles day after day, not only to keep himself alive, but risking his life for others. That inspired me to be a better person and want to help others. This book also showed me how much more you can learn from reading a book than watching a movie. I remember being extremely disappointed when watching the movie on such an exciting book, and the movie was quite disappointing. This inspired me to read more. SSR, or Silent Sustained Reading, was very helpful to me. It gave me time in my day to read books that I enjoyed and not just ones that were assigned to school. And it also gave me a scale of different levels so I could see how I was doing and if I was progressing in my reading abilities. It made me work harder so that I would be able to progress to the next reading level and improve my comprehension skills. Iqbal. Iqbal was a book about kids who were forced into labor making rugs, originally being told they would be released once they had paid back their family's debt but then being tricked into staying for the rest of their lives. This was very eye-opening to me because we have several of these rugs in our home. Though I'm not sure if they were made by enslaved children or not, they come from the same area, time, place, and style. This connects to part of our human geo work in the fact that one of the main problems of racism and slavery was not due to racial intolerance, but ignorance. Not knowing where things come from is one of the main sources of breaking the laws of human rights. Some of the reading I have taken most interest in has been about how our universe is ever expanding, how it is infinite, and currently science would say that it, is in, that it is impossible to reach the end of it. These articles are very intriguing to me because nobody really knows what exactly is happening and things like wormholes, the creation of the universe, or how it is being formed. So it allows you to formu formulate your own theories on what is happening. National Geographic My family has been getting these magazines since I was a little kid. And I have always enjoyed flipping through them, because almost every time I open the cover of one of these magazines, I learn something new that blows my mind. Whether it be about humans, animal life, or earth science, the variety of interesting topics has always been a major hook for me, and I have learned many things from the different articles over the years.